Hey there, YouTube. It is I, Hydroconomist, formerly known as DRC Mr. Strawberry. Uh, I'm in the middle of processing some name changes and all that, but I'll provide another video explaining all that. Right now, I wanted to give you an update on our project BB5, the indoor do-it-yourself grow box that we mastermind. <laughs> I guess if you want to call it that. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. I don't want to make this a very long video. Um, I had actually tried providing an update a few weeks earlier. I was not happy with the quality because the fans in this thing run so loud it's really hard to hear me. So we turned them off so we can do this video. But I wanted to show you since the last video looked like it was so sparse anything going on in it. Uh, I'm here to prove you wrong. We did some changes. Uh, we had some mustard leaves in there. We got rid of one, transplanted it with another basil. Uh, the owner, Dave, he's been pulling basil and cilantro out of this every dang week. It, he says it just grows like crazy, as well as the uh, green onions. And then, yeah, this is uh, one of the remaining mustard leaves. We chopped it off because we're, you know, we're going to put something else in there. And, uh, no, it just it keeps coming back. So, <laughs> you know, and there's the time. All in all, pretty dang happy with the results. So let's get down to the bottom level. See how everything's going down there. As you can see, everything is great. Uh, we got the two cilantros up front. Again, he keeps harvesting it, and it just keeps growing back like crazy. Uh, as you can see, the strawberry here, we got a little flower. We are in the bloom cycle now, running 12-12 on the lights, as well as this pepper in the back here. So we're going to have peppers pretty soon as well. Now there's this little pepper down here. It was planted several weeks after we planted everything else. So, you know, it's kind of the runt of the litter. And he's got all these cool little, what is this Dave, aloe? Yeah, he's got a little aloe pot in here. It's kind of neat. And then uh, he put a cherry tomato in. I warned him. So I'm excited to see how that's actually gonna turn out though. His plan with the cherry tomato plant is to try and train the main stalk to just kind of go up and around all this whole thing to try and utilize as much of the vertical and side space as possible. So I think it could be done. Um, so uh, I don't know. I'm, I look forward to seeing that. I'll also provide you a clip of what the, what the box sounds like with the fans running. I mean, it, this thing's a workhorse, so <laughs> you will notice it. But I wanted to provide you better content, so, you know, I wasn't, like, yelling through my phone. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? unhappy with my videos I don't want that so super low humidity a nice constant temperature hardly dips below 68 all in all we're pretty happy with the results I hope you guys are so if you're a first time viewer, if you haven't already, please take the time to subscribe and like all the videos. Uh, I continue to grow this channel. <laughs> it's kind of funny. You like that? Grow? Anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, if you haven't, go ahead and comment. If you have any suggestions, please share. And uh, here's just one final shot of his recent pull. Cilantro he's got drying out. Some basil. He's just got basil on basil on basil. He's also trying to start some other things. But the cat's got to him. 
Well, anyways, uh, be on the lookout for future videos. I'm going to be posting more frequently and with more updates. And we also got, uh, of course, we got several projects in in mind coming for the next outdoor grow. And that's all I really have for you today. Thanks, YouTube.